Hey, hey, it's Vima. Welcome back to Vima's Happy Place. Today we're going to take a look at holiday Barbies. So I have the 2020 holiday Barbie and I have the 2021 holiday Barbie. We are going to open both of these up and we're going to compare and contrast and see just how much they change from year to year. Okay, so this is 2020. This is 2021. I found her on clearance at Walmart for $5 last year around January. I found her um, today, which is actually August 14th, for $5 at Walmart. So, the reason I've never actually owned a holiday Barbie is because they're so expensive. So, like, as a kid, my mom wouldn't buy it for me because she knew I wouldn't keep it in the box and keep it nice. Uh, and now, I've taken them out of the boxes, so they can still seem nice on my shelves. But, looking at these dolls, there's so many similarities. I, I, I don't think I would ever pay full price for, for this version of the doll anyway because they look exactly alike <laughs> like it's the same face the makeup color is different she's got gold eyeshadow over here and she's got silver eyeshadow over here they've got like the same lip color you know they've got the same complexion this half of the body is exactly the same because they got the hand on the hip. Their, um, their pose under their dress is exactly the same. This leg is slightly bent. I mean, and the dresses aren't even that different. Like, the designs are very similar to my eye. Of course, there are differences, but... I just feel like they could be so much better and so much more amazing, but we've got, you know, some kind of strange sleeve. So in this case, we've got this gold poof, and in this case, we've got silver strap and then tool strap, and then we've got, you know, gold and silver. Then we have the, the puffy skirt that has some kind of distressed something on it with an sorry my my tray fell here with an overlay and then an underlay so in this case we've got this overskirt we've got a tool piece and then we've got a gold satin piece and in this case we've got this tool piece and then we've got this brushed piece i just don't their hair why their hair is terrible now, I know these are meant to be in the box and you're not supposed to take them out or whatever, so you would never see that, but their hair is terrible. Like, hers especially is, like, greasy at the roots. Like, it feels like an old Monster High doll's hair that's got all the glue seepage. Like, it's gross. It's really gross. Hers isn't quite as bad, but it still looks awful. I just... I don't know. Do people really buy these at forty dollars a piece every year? Do they? Do people still do that? I know when I was a kid, that was a big thing. That was a big thing. Like you had to get the holiday Barbie every year. You had to have like a room full of them. Like it was a thing because in the you know late eighties, early nineties, holiday Barbies were like the jam. Like that was the peak of fashion. I just don't know. Like, they've got the same red nail polish on their fingers. This one right here, like, her shoes are so disappointing. Hello, Oscar. Can you move, baby? I'm trying to film a video. Can you move, baby? I'm trying to film a video. Okay, so her shoes are so disappointing because they're supposed to have, like, a strap around her ankle, and they're so bent out of shape, like, they don't even go around her ankle. Like, look at that. Again, if I'd never taken her out of the box, I never would have known that. But, that's so disappointing. And this one, you know, 
I hate this plastic corset piece. Thank goodness my froggy stuff figured out you can take it off. And then her shoes are just like clear pieces of plastic that aren't even flattering on her feet. And the backs of them are so thin, they're bent too. I just, I feel like they could do so much more with a $40 doll. So much more. Instead of carbon copy after carbon copy. And I understand they they have, you know, their their thing that they have. They have the, the blonde, blue-eyed, Caucasian. They have the brown-haired, I think brown-eyed, uh, Latino, and then you know the the African American but like those the other two versions of the doll they change from year to year whether it be the hairstyle or something these dolls look exactly alike they look exactly alike give me something else for forty dollars I mean they already don't pose or anything because they're meant to stay in the box but give me something better for forty dollars that's all I'm saying how do you feel about holiday Barbies? Do you collect them? Uh, what's your favorite holiday Barbie of all time? <laughs> Did you guys enjoy this video? Again, these are just my opinions. I feel like they could do so much more for the price point. And if I can get them at $5 on clearance, I'll grab them for $5. But I, I wouldn't pay full price for these dolls. Um, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And do make you happy. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.